Hi, everyone. Welcome to Sister's Place Entertainment Showcase. Today we have Leslie Sherrod joining us for our author showcase feature with Latrice Carter. Hi, Leslie. Hi, how are you today? I'm doing well. <laughs> That's great. Um, thanks for joining me. Um, so tell us about your latest novel, The Man of My Scheme. And I love that title, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, The Man of My Schemes is a book that was just so much fun to write. Um, prior to writing this book, I had completed well, I won't say I've completed it because there might be more, but I had worked on a series of a social worker who was dealing with a number of really deep and somewhat dark issues and a lot of adventures. And I just wanted to write something that was um, just light and fun. <laughs> and The Man of My Schemes is um, the story of a young woman named Barry Jenkins who gets sick and tired of everyone asking her about her love life that um, she decides to come up with a very intricate scheme or plan to pretend that she's found the perfect love. Um, and as you could imagine, it just kind of backfires on her. And it gets much worse before it gets better um, in terms of all the twists and turns that happen as her lie just continues to grow and grow and get beyond just even control. So. <laughs> oh my! That sounds very interesting. <laughs> so, what inspired the title? How did you choose your title? Well, you know, we we always hear the phrase "the man of my dreams," and you know, it just conjures up this image of perfection and you know, a soulmate. And Barry, she very much wants to present to her friends and her family and her mother that she's mm -hmm. found this, but she hasn't. And um, what she has found is a very elaborate plan, um, and, you know, it's a scheme. And it just – and I will say, it didn't it, – she didn't intend to start living a lie. Like, you know, when you read the story, you, you'll see how this started. It started out very mm -hmm. innocently, but then it just continued to grow. Um, so that's really where the title comes from. You know, it's a play on the man of my dreams, but instead it's the man of her schemes. <laughs> Oh, wow. So what inspires your writing? Um, for me, I have just always loved to write. Um, and I, you know, as a Christian fiction author, I've always found that there's so much power in stories. You know, when you think about when Jesus taught back in the day, he used parables. Mm -hmm. And the fact that mm -hmm. he used parables to, like, teach really, like, deep truths I kind of see writing um, as a as a tool um, for encouragement, for um, for uh, as a message of joy, really. And mm -hmm. for me, a lot of what inspires my writing is just just the desire to to give readers something you know that's entertaining to read, but that's also inspirational. And that at the end of the day, when you finish the book and put it down, you feel like you've read a complete story, but you also feel like you have um, gain something from reading it. So, um, mm -hmm. you know, there's so much that goes into that inspiration. And, you know, I, I don't take it lightly, the privilege and the honor it is to be a writer um, in the kingdom. So um, okay. that, that's a little, a little part of that answer. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. So, you know, I, I want to throw out another question um, regarding the man of my schemes. What type of message would you say you want your readers to walk away with after after reading um, your novel? You know, I, I will say to me, I don't know that the story is like your traditional romance, you know, where a boy mm -hmm. meets a girl and then they live happily ever after. When you mm -hmm. read The Man of My Schemes, you start realizing that Barry has a lot of just internal issues with herself. Um, mm -hmm. You know, this this, there's this continual, continuing, continual question of, you know, is she enough? Does she have to prove herself to people? You know, does she mm -hmm. have what it takes to be considered worthy? And I, I, I guess one of, my, um, one of my big goals in writing this story is just to really get people to start thinking about, you know, how much of what we're doing is really just to try and prove something to other people. At what point do we just realize that we are enough, that we don't have to, you know, prove something. And then also, mm -hmm. you know, there's a message about grace in there as well. 
You know, when you know you've done something wrong and you've messed up, and like I said, Barry's story gets really just kind of crazy, you know, with all the things that happen and then when it just explodes on her face. You know, what do you do when you're at that point in life where you know you've messed up? Um, right. Is there still grace for you? Not, I mean, I'm not even just speaking just in terms of your relationship with God, but just your relationship with others. You know, mm-hmm. how do you handle, you know, failure and knowing that other people know you have failed, you know, right. so. Right. Good message. Good. Um, so who are some of your favorite authors, if you can name maybe four? Sure. I, um, you know, as you can imagine, that's a hard question to answer. <laughs> um, <laughs> cause there's so many, but when I think about um, authors that have really kind of shaped um, the way that I read and write, you know, I'm going back to, you know, reading, you know, as a reader even years ago, um, mm-hmm. I love Walter Mosley, I love Murray Higgins Clark, and just their ability to create these, like, page turners. And then I also, um, I remember being in college and having to read this anthology called Memory of Ken that was edited by Murray Helen Washington. And in that book, Mm -hmm. um, there were so many short stories, poems, um, from so many different authors, everyone from Paul Marshall to James Baldwin, and um, just so many different authors that... I see that book as like a turning point for me as a reader and a writer because it just opened up um, the idea of story to me in a way that um, that I didn't even realize at that time before it existed, um, you know, okay. and just exploring how, you know, stories can talk about our relationships and, and our struggles, um, you know, that, so that was an important book for me. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. So what are the, um, what are the projects? or events coming your way this year? Yeah, so I'm excited um, about the upcoming months. I I do have some events that I'll be participating in. um, in, uh, We're we're in March. This year is going by so quickly. I had to think for a second. (laughs) But in April, um, I'll be participating in a Books and Brunch that will be in Baltimore, and um, there's a Spring Fling in Landover, Maryland, um, as well as the City Lit Festival um, that's also in Baltimore. Um, those are just a few of the upcoming events. Um, as far as projects, I am working on another story that um, <laughs> has been gnawing at me for a while, so you know, I hope to get that completed. And then I have some things that um, I'm, I'm thinking about some new projects. My, my husband is also an artist, and we keep, for mm-hmm. years we've been talking about one day we were going to come together and do, like, some children's books. And oh, we've been saying nice. it now. It's <laughs> been, we've been married now for, I don't know, 16, I think this will be 17 years. Like, you know, we're at the point, like, okay, we just need to sit down and do this. Mm-hmm, so, um, mm-hmm. you know, that's something we want to collaborate on, and hopefully this year we'll we'll get that started. So I'm excited about that as well, too. Oh, that's good. I think that'll be really nice, a husband-wife um, collaboration. That, I like that. Yeah. <laughs> so how can our audience learn more about you and find you on social media? Yes. So the first stop, I would say, is my website, um, which is simply my name, lesliejsherrod.com. That's L-E-S-L-I-E-J-S-H-E-R-R-O-D.com. There you'll have links to um, all seven of my novels um, as well as upcoming events um, Mm -hmm. and just some other information. And then, of course, uh, I am on social media right now. I would say the best place to find me is on Facebook, which is, again, my Mm -hmm. name, Leslie J. Sherrod, and Twitter, which, surprise, is also my name, Leslie J. Sherrod. <laughs> um, so, yeah, the, you know, definitely um, reach out to me. And you know what? I love to hear from readers. You know, shoot me an email, lesliejsherrod at gmail.com. Um, let me know, okay. you know, if, if you've connected with the character, if, if you thought Barry was just a little bit, you know, if, if she just <laughs> scares you a little with all her little schemes, you know, let me know what you think. Um, I definitely love to hear from readers, so um, I hope that, okay. that, that we can connect. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, those are all my questions. Thank you so much for sitting down and um, taking this um, time to talk with Sister's Place Entertainment Blog. Um, I will.